Gavin here from Her Sports and delighted to be joined by soon to be Olympian Mona McSherry. Mona, thanks for taking time out to talk to me. No problem. Um, happy to be here. <laughs> um, listen, there's just 28 days to go. I think I'm sure excitement levels are starting to build, are they? Yeah, I think at the moment there's still a lot for me to do uh, in regards to like preparing and organizing just with like I'm still in the States at the moment. I'm traveling home around the 3rd of July. And then I think from then onwards, it'll kind of hit me a little bit more. I think at the moment it still feels quite far away, even though it is only a month. Yeah, not long to go now. And how have preparations been? Would you like to talk me through your training schedule? I'm sure it's pretty intense. Yeah, it's it's been really good. I made the decision to come back here basically just for the month of June, which um, could have been seen as going either way. But I think it's been it's been great to kind of be here and just focus on training and not really have any distractions. Um, I have a great you know group of swimmers to swim with, and they really push me. And of course, I'm with you know the coaches I've been working with all year, which is great. So they can kind of add some last minute touches and stuff. I pretty much. Um, have just been doing double swims maybe three times a week and then the rest is singles and three weight sessions a week uh, roughly and that that varies a little bit from week to week but uh, it's been great I've been doing a lot of hard work and I'm excited to race again. I'm sure and listen you're 20 years of age really young it's heading to heading to the Olympics is it something you dreamt of as a child? Yeah I think like 12, 11, 12 being asked, you know, would you like to go to the Olympics? Of course, I think any young kid doing a sport wants to go to the Olympics. And then when I was watching the 2012 and I guess the 2016 Olympics, it kind of became more of an actual dream that something that I thought I could actually aspire to do, not just say as like, yeah, okay, I want to go to the Olympics. Um, so it's, it's really nice to to finally be able to achieve that because I've been like, I guess, thinking about it for so long. I've I don't feel that young going, um, but I, I guess I, I kind of am still early in my career, which is exciting as well because I have, you know, at least another Olympics after this, hopefully, which is great. Sure, 100%. And for you personally as an athlete, would you be one to get nervous before big events like this? How do you think you'll be in Tokyo? I think if if I think about it too much, I get really nervous. What I found helped me a lot with the trials was that I was – kind of busy with college work and even figuring out how to get home and just um all that stuff and I think that that distraction really helped it's definitely not I'm not trying to avoid it I do think about it at times but I think an over if I concentrate on stuff too much for me I just I think that makes me nervous but in general I have I've worked on some really good coping mechanisms and you know I've had I've raced at a number of larger competitions that it's just it's boiled down to it's just another pool with water in it that I'm going to race in and you know I have my own lane so it's the same really you just have different competitors around you and it's yeah it's at a different level I guess. Sure and you mentioned the tries there Mona you're no stranger to breaking records both over here and over in the University of Tennessee where you are your 100 meter breaststroke uh record of 106.29 is that something that when you're heading into big races is that something that's at the back of your mind or are you fully focused on performance uh I'm fully po- focused on performance I think I try not to dwell on the time too much because um you're gonna swim so many different races so many different ways and the time might be minutely different but it's more about how it feels um so I try and stay away from thinking about the end time and more so how the race actually felt and what I can improve on in that way but yeah, you know, it's it's great to touch the wall, turn around, see a fast time. And when it's an Irish senior record, that's even better. So it's it's all just bonuses, but I try not to dwell on it as a main point. Mm. And that record, it leaves you as, I think it's number seven in the world. Does this give you confidence heading to the games that maybe you could get through the heats and battle it out for a medal? Yeah, I think it'll be interesting. Back in April, that was seventh in the world. And I think now with American trials having been swam and Canadian trials and even Australian trials, there's probably a couple that have slotted in ahead of me. So I'm probably not seventh anymore. Um, but it's it's still great, you know, even at that time of the year to have to clock a time like that. Um, and it is it's really exciting to think about possibly making it out of the heats into the semifinal. It's definitely my target so I think I'm just going to go out there race and see what happens because you never know on the day there's going to be a lot of fast swimmers that 
want to make it out of the heat so we all just have to work our hardest sure 100 percent. and how has the support been from back home in Sligo? i'm sure everyone's counting down the days oh it's it's been amazing i think i i love being from you know a, a small close-knit community i guess um and i i just everyone's been so nice and I guess with COVID, I didn't get to see as many people as I might have in a normal year, but I've still, you know, gotten so many congratulations and they all, I know that the support is there and they're all behind me and that, that just really helps, uh, even though, you know, there, there won't be anyone at the games. I know that they're all at home cheering me on, which is, which is really nice. And, you know, I, I think it's great. It's a pity that I couldn't be at home preparing for the trials that I have to be so far away, but um, yeah, I, I know that they're, they're behind me. Yeah, 100% they sure are. And just want to touch on last night, Danielle Hill's performance. How good was it to see that? That was amazing. Um, I was I was really cheering on. I, it, it, it's amazing to get anyone to qualify, but I really wanted another girl. You know, I think that's going to make the experience so much better. And it just shows um, how, how much great we have so many great athletes in Ireland, men and women, uh, especially women, <laughs> um, shown by Danielle's performance last night. And I think it's, it's just amazing and so well deserved. Brilliant. Listen, Mona, thanks a million for that. And if we're not chatting before, Tokyo, the very best of luck. Thank you so well, much.